All right, so here we have the EMA Bluetooth Pulse Oximeter, which I have some other oximeters that look, they're just about the same, but they're not Bluetooth, and they're just meant for like a short term thing. You put them on the test, like just for a few minutes. And this is, so it's kind of like one of those. I'll show you, it comes with a little bag, little velvet bag, and instruction manual, of course. Once you figure out how these work, you don't. You know the instructions aren't really that difficult once you figure out how it works. And then it comes with it comes with two sets of AAA batteries, so so it doesn't you don't have to like use the Bluetooth to charge it up. It's just two batteries in case you need it for like an emergency or something. Well, it says a lanyard you can connect to here if you like. Then it also has this grip tape or medical tape, whatever you want to call it sometimes. And I'll show what that's for in just a minute here. And that's kind of the downside I think a little bit so what you do is you just have a regular sometimes it'll just turn on let me see if it turns on or if you just do it automatically no I have a few different ones but there we go so it's right now saying that you know the fingers not in there drop it in and it keeps track At the same time I'm gonna open up my phone there we go and now it doesn't transfer the information live. Okay, what it's doing is uh, this is collecting your, the information and then it'll upload it. That way it saves on your battery because if it was connected live the whole time, that would take up a lot of battery. And yeah, it'd be battery burner. So you don't want that. But let it go a little bit. So it's, you know, I'm at 95, 96. The other thing about this though is check out the screen, right? So you can see it. So if I turn it this way, the screen will move along with you. So depending on which which way is up, it changes. See. Yeah. Anyway, so it's like that. Now what we'll do is uh, so because if you connect it right now, connect to my device, it won't actually do anything. It just kind of scans and never finds it because it's waiting for one that's stopped. Pull it out. All right. Now it's connecting again. Maybe not. There we go. Is uploading, syncing, syncing about something. And there we go. So that passed a little bit here. Is one minute and two seconds. And here's my beats per minute, max min, and this, you know the oxygen, the high and the low. What I got to below. I didn't get zero. But I think it's just when it was first starting. So yeah, it's really it's really handy having a Bluetooth one that actually collects the information so you don't have to remember it or write it down. The only thing is, so you know, this is it's an inexpensive way to do the nighttime stuff if you're gonna be doing long term. And that's where it's kind of clunky that way, right? So they have you use the, the medical wrap. So you put your finger in and do this like whole medical wrap stuff around and um supposed to like almost put a little cocoon on there so it holds on to it for you all night which I don't know if I could sleep with something like that taped to my finger it would I didn't eventually end up pulling it off or something where uh, the other ones the more expensive ones the two to three hundred ones maybe four hundred dollars those will have like a little wrist strap and these will be different but they'll have a like a whole little finger device here so it's smaller if it's easier but it's also connected to an anchor wrap an anchor wrist wrap there and uh, so it doesn't fall off when you're asleep. So it's a little easier. This, you're gonna end up having to cleverly find a way to wrap it up at night. So it's kind of, it'll hold the history of the whole night, but if you can just keep it on, that's the important part. So yeah, it's gonna have to be four stars because of the awkwardness of it. But otherwise, if you're just looking for a Bluetooth one, it does a really good job for while you're testing something for a short time, it's great. So. Long-term all night, might not be able to recommend it for that. Anyway, hope that helps with your decisions.